Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to continue with the RNG series where I teach you how to make an RNG game. And in today's episode, we're going to script the first part of the inventory. And in the next episode, we're going to be completely done with the inventory. We will also have a accept and skip button. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, please consider subscribing liking the video and yeah so first of all we are going to make uh, we're going to fix this uh, scrolling frame because currently we can only scroll down a bit so we will go inside of the container we will go inside of uh, properties tab we will find the let me see let me see the canvas size and we will change it to 10 and now it looks really fucked so we will fix this by going inside of our container go inside of the UI grid layout and we are going to change this value a bit so for the first one we are going to change the Y value to 0 0.005 oh it's the sub padding uh, yeah perfect and the set size uh, go on the y value again set this to 0 0.0 0 0.023 perfect now it looks better and we can scroll down a lot more so perfect okay so now we are going to script it. Uh, whoops, there we go. So we are going to add a script inside of the inventory, a local script. Rename this to client or handler. Yeah, we can rename it to handler. Inside of here, we're going to reference the replicate storage. Get surveys replicate storage. We're going to replicate the players service which is equal to gamer gets game gets service players we're going to say local player equals player service dot local player local player ui equals player dot player ui and now we're going to reference the background so local background equals script dot parent oh sorry local ui which is this one, so script.parent <laughs> then we're going to reference the background, so local background equals ui.background <laughs> and local button, which is which we haven't made yet so we can make this invisible inventory <laughs> we can we can we can copy this roll button put it inside of the inventory uh, oh. and customize it a bit something like 60 above sides maybe make the text a little bit smaller we can put the image label inside of this later on uh, customize it a little bit better but for now we can have a button that looks like this so make a temporary button or make your own which you will be using in the game uh, you decide perfect so there we have our temporary button so local button equals uh, inventory button local button equals uh, ui dot inventory button perfect so now we're going to reference the container so local container equals background dot container background dot second container background dot container and local <coughs> uh, we're going to reference the info frame so local info frame is equal to background dot info frame local uh, local list 
info list equals background dot info list oh, info list sorry info frame dot info list dot list frame info frame dot list frame sorry and local uh, local title info title equals what did we name that label we can rename this title so we can say local info title is info frame dot title background dot title here we go and we can also reference the list which is equip button so a local equip button is equal to info list dot equip button local remove button or skip button sorry skip button equals info list dot remove button and local rarity text equals info list dot rarity label and this is wrong sorry remove button i got the stroke here we go so now we can take the template we have inside of our container we can put it inside of the script now we can reference the tape. Uh, oh my god. Why did I put the whole container? So put the container back and get the template inside of the container. Put it inside of the script. And now say local template equals script dot template. Perfect. And one last variable which is local is visible, which is equal to false. So this is all the variables we need right now. So now the scripting begins. So we're going to say button dot mouse button one click. So whenever we click the button, we are going to say that is visible is equal to not is visible, and background dot visible is equal to is visible. So the is visible if this is false, then it will become true because we say not invisible, uh, not if is visible, and when we click again and this is true, then it will become false, and then we set the background visible to yeah, based on this value. So now we can say if not is visible, then uh, uh, for i comma v in pairs container get children do and if we find a text button then we are going to remove it else we can make a function so a function called local update info oh local function update info there we go and we are going to loop through we can't loop through because we do not have a inventory. So if we go inside of the server script service, we rename the rolling server to main. And inside of here, we are going to say, uh, 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 or we can make it outside. So inside of another script called this Lilu stats. Inside of here, say local function, set up leader stats, uh, pass through the player. We are going to say local leader, oh, local leader stats equals instance of new folder, comma player. What this means is that we are making a new thing called leader stats. We are creating a new folder and then we are putting this folder inside of the player and then we can name this leader stats to leader stats very important that leader stats is written just like this if it is a big a capital L it will not work so a small or a lowercase then we can define our roles so local roles equals instance of new uh, number value Parent it to leader stats and then set in the name to roles. Then we can say local chance inventory. 
is equal to instant on new. We can also name this to inventory instead. Oh, inventory. Uh, is equal to folder, to a new folder, parent to player. And then we can sh say chance. No, inventory dot name is equal to inventory. And we can say local equipped chance is equal to instance of new. This can be a string value. We can parent it to a player and name it to equipped chance. There we go. And if we go down here, say game the players, the player added, connect, and we're gonna connect our function we just made. So set up leader stats. <clears throat> now that should work. Perfect. Now, go inside of the handler again. Inside of here, we can say, uh, let me see, we're going to loop room for underscore comma. Uh, uh, underscore comma chance in i pairs player wait for child inventory get children so we loop it through our inventory and for every new object that we find we're going to create a new template so local new uh, new template is equal to template clone we can rename this template to new template of name is equal to chance of name and new template dot title okay what did we call that uh, rename this text label inside of the template to title so new template dot title dot text is equal to chance of name as well and new chance or new template template dot parent is equal to the container if we now go down here and call this function, so update info, it shall work, I think. No, yes, it will. Okay, so if we go ahead and test it out now, so if we press on the inventory button, nothing happens because we can't find the button. So if we go into the script, uh, here, inventory button is not a valid, uh, oh, I fucked up, so this is called button, and this is called inventory button. There we go, so if we go ahead and test now, it shall work, if it doesn't, please join the discord and ask for help, uh, so yeah, so if we go ahead and test now, open up the inventory, we can see how we got nothing in here and if we go inside of player inside of your own player we got inventory if we go ahead and add a string value inside of here we can call this epic then open up the inventory you can see how we got a value in here if we go ahead and duplicate call this rare open up the inventory we got rare so, perfect. Everything works as it, as it should. Uh, we can, uh, let me see. We can also, uh, uh, okay, yeah. So now everything we have to do is whenever we roll, we want to add a a new a value inside of our inventory. So if we go inside of the main script and inside of here, we can make a function called local uh, give new chance player uh, and the value. Okay, local function. Sorry. and we can say local new chance is equal to instance of new string value string value here we go uh, we can parent it to the player so player dot inventory 
and new chance dot name equals value so if we call this function inside of here give new chance uh, we're gonna pass through the player as well as the table and we're gonna index it with number seven and number one and this is because if we go and print our table so if we go ahead and play everything will work so you can test out the inventory i will just explain why we're indexing it with number seven and uh, and one so if we go ahead and roll we got common if we open up here we can see a table of everything that just showed up on the screen so if i go ahead and do it again get a new table we got some common, some rare. If I open it here, we got common. Here we got rare, etc. And why we are choosing number seven is because it's the last one. And the number one in our script, this number one, is because we want the name, which is common. So if we would like the color, we can index it with number three. Here instead, if we want the rarity, we can index it with number two but we want the name so oh if we go ahead and play now again everything shall work uh, just fine and we shall get a new uh, item in our inventory so nothing is, is there currently if we open up the inventory folder we roll we got something new we got the common if we go inside of the inventory we got the common in here if we roll again, we got common. If we roll again, we got a rare. And if we open up the inventory, we got rare, common, common. In the next episode, we are going to make sure that the color is correct. As well as that uh, we shall not have two common. So if we already got the common, we cannot get another one. If we do not remove it. We will also script the equip and remove button as well as this one and we will make a accept and skip button so with that being said please consider subscribing liking this video and join the discord take care buddies